We just learned from the governor's staff that he will not hold a public event or media availability tonight to announce his decision. We are expecting this decision to come either over email in a news release or from his staffers directly. We still don't know what that decision will be or what time, but we do know he continues to get an earful on this issue. Let's show you some video earlier today when the phone lines were still open. Thousands of people have called into his office to weigh in, the vast majority asking for a veto of this bill. His office calls the volume unprecedented. At last count, more than 6,300 phone calls and more than 12,000 emails on the controversial bill that was fast-tracked late last week. Legislation that would allow state lawmakers to exempt themselves from the full scope of the state's public disclosure law and keep their old records hidden from view. Note that state agencies and local governments have to follow that same disclosure law and that's why the mayor of Federal Way wrote a letter to the governor requesting a veto expressing outrage in this letter he writes people whom we represent have a right to know what we're doing in their name state representative Melanie Stambaugh agrees she was one of 14 no votes in the state house and she actually personally experienced the need to request records and said in her letter to the governor that the legislative records were nearly impossible to acquire with Senate Bill 6617. They could be out of reach forever, she writes. The people have been very loud and they are expressing through email and phone call to all of us their dissatisfaction with the legislature, one, passing this bill so quickly and without public input, and two, the contents of the bill. And so other legislators are feeling the heat, which is the best thing uh, in light of how this bill went through. And I do think that some are considering that if if the governor does veto the bill, that possibly they would change their vote. I think the pressure has been that strong from the public. I think the first and most important is that it actually goes through the legislative process, that there is public input, there are public hearings, that the bill uh, spends more than just 48 hours running through the legislature. Um, and the amendments need to, I think, protect you know citizen communications and also protect whistleblowers, but that can be done and is currently being done by our city governments and our local governments. We have these protections already in place while allowing transparency and I think the legislature should mimic those protections and that transparency here in our branch. So the question that remains, what will the governor do tonight? He has until 1159 just before midnight to make a decision, and there are several options. He can sign the bill, do nothing, and then it becomes law, veto it in full, or issue a partial veto, which essentially would be vetoing one section or more than one section, which would then send that part of the bill back to the state lawmakers who could either amend it or override the governor with a supermajority in both chambers. There's a lot of moving parts and pieces. That's why this could be taking so long from what we understand. It sounds like lawmakers and the governor have been in talks all day on this bill and others. So we will continue to follow the developments and bring you that decision as soon as we get it. Live in Olympia, I'm Natalie Brand, King 5 News.